Hello everyone! We're getting to the end of a unit. That means today we'll do a little review, a little story time, and talk about the test that you'll likely be taking soon. Remember, tests are exciting because you get to show off what you know. And if you don't know something, that's okay. It lets your teacher know what you still need to work on. So tests are a good thing for everyone. Let's get warmed up. Repeat after me. A apple a. Ah. E ed e. Eh. I itch i. Eh. O octopus ah. U up a. Uh. W h whistle w. C h chin ch. T h thumb. C k sock. And only at what part of a word? The end. A-L-L, ball, all. What do we call this sound? A glued sound. That's right, my friends. Let's do the same thing now, but without the pictures. A, apple, a. E, ed, a. I, itch, i. O, octopus, a. U up a uh. th thumb a l l all nice job with those sounds and one of my favorite things to do with you is our competition to see who can say the trick word first here we go as has, to, into, we, he, she, be, me, for, or, you, your, I, they, was, one said. All right, how'd you do? Did you beat me? Did I beat you? All right, I have something else to show you now. It's a story that we read last week. Do you read the title? It's kind of small right here. What was this story called? The Big Mess. That's right. And I want you to try to remember in your mind what happened. Try to make a movie and picture it in your head. And tell me, tell me what happened in this story. That's right, there was a big mess, but the mom wasn't mad. So I'm picturing her just saying, pick this up, but she's not yelling. And then Jill and Bill have to clean up the mud and they don't even fuss about it. They just do their job. Good, okay, let's read it together. Stay with me as I read. The hall was such a big mess. Mom was not mad. She did not yell. But she said, pick this up. What a mess, said mom. Put your ball in the box and get this mud off the wall. Jill and Bill did the big job. Did they fuss? They did not fuss at all. Nice job reading with me, everybody. So how did you do making a movie in your head? Were you able to see all of those parts happening? Good. And now let's talk about the feelings. How was mom feeling in the beginning of the story? You're right, she wasn't mad, but how did she feel? Maybe surprised or a little disappointed at the mess? And then how do you think Jill and Bill felt when they had to clean everything up? 
Well, it says they didn't fuss, so they probably were just expecting it. They were okay with it. And it doesn't tell us, but how do you think mom felt at the end of the story? I bet she was happy too because they cleaned it all up without fussing. I would be happy. Awesome. So here's what I would like you to do. If you could please get your whiteboard, I'm going to have you take some of the words out of this story and write them on your whiteboard and practice marking them. So on your whiteboard, if you could please go ahead and write the word hall. It's in the story, so you can always look at the story to help you. Write the word hall, and there's two things to mark. Star the bonus letter, and put a box around the glued sound. Hall. Okay, there are two words actually there's three words that rhyme with hall in this story i want you to write the other three words on your whiteboard and mark them too get all three of them hall wall ball all Write them all down and practice marking all of them. Great. Okay, here's the next word I want you to put on your whiteboard. Write the word mess. Mess was in this story. Find mess, write it on your whiteboard and put a star over the bonus letter. Mess. Very nice, my friends. Okay, so next, let's talk about this test that's coming up. I'm looking at it right here, and here's what you need to know. You need to know all of your sounds that we've been practicing every day. So all the vowels, if I were to say B, you need to know that's B and write it down. So when we do that warm up, if there's any sounds that have been tricky, that's what you should be practicing today. You could open up your student notebook and look at those pictures to practice. This is a little way to study and prepare. The next thing you'll have to do is you'll have to write five words. The words have digraphs and bonus letters. And you have to remember if we hear k at the end of a word, it's ck, that's right. So if you need to practice building some words or writing some words, that would be a good thing for you to do today. And then you have to know to mark the words. Star, the bonus letter, box, the glued sounds, and underline the digraphs. The last thing you'll do is a sentence. And in your sentence, you do need to be able to write some trick words. So I think we should practice writing a few trick words. So you still have your whiteboard out. I would like you to practice writing the word they. Go ahead, practice they. And I'm just going to go ahead and type them in. They, there we go, check yours to mine. It should have a noisy TH, and then it's EY. EY normally says E, like in key, but it's tricky because in this word it says A, they. Okay, some more trick words you need to know are your. Go ahead, write your. And on your test, you're allowed to look in your notebook. So if you don't know your, think y -y -y your. I know it starts with a Y. Then I'm going to look in my student notebook in the trick word section to figure out the rest of it. I know it ends with your, er, 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 the tricky parts in the middle. Find it and then make sure it matches mine. If you didn't know this one, I want you to write it six times on your whiteboard. Practice the things that you need more practice on. Pause if you need to practice your a little bit more. Your, more, those words rhyme. Okay. How about the trick word said? 
We know it starts with s and it ends with d. The tricky part's in the middle. Look it up or write it out. Check it with mine. Said. If you didn't know it easily, I want you to fill the whiteboard with it. Right? Said, 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 said. Spell it as you do it. S A I D. Said. Okay. And the last thing that I do want to point out is back in our story, we talked when we learned the word said about quotation marks. Can everyone go like this, take two fingers and move them? Sometimes we call these air quotes. So look, when someone's talking, whatever they're saying is inside the quotes. And we said the first letter has to be uppercase and a comma comes before it. So look, mom's talking here. Let's do air quotes and say what she says. Pick this up. Oh, here's some more quotes. Mom's talking again. Let's do it. What a mess. Oh, here's some more quotes. This is still mom talking. Put your ball in the box and get this mud off the wall. So when you're kidding, be on the lookout for these quotation marks that have a capital letter inside and a comma before. Awesome job, everybody. If you feel like you need to practice something, now's the time to do it. Take out that student notebook to help you get a little more comfortable with any tricky trick words or bonus letters or the marking. Keep working hard.